Hello, hello. All right. Zephyr, are you there? Zephyr, it is I, the Cosmic Threader. My microphone on? What the fuck is happening? I hope this, I hope this thing is on. Whatever's going on, I hope it's working. <laughs> How do you like my new headshot? Zephyr, are you there? I just got a message from Zephyr on my other device. It says, be there in a sec. And then it's she put a little heart on it. So it's got a heart on. A red heart, if that matters. Hello, welcome. Welcome to the radio pod podcast. I don't know what Zephyr's calling this. Something about ending the Patrix. And I think the Patrix is, has something to do with uh, the patriarchy and the Matrix. So it's a combination of patriarchy and matrix i could be wrong about that but that's my best guess so welcome to the patrix ladies and germs i hope you can hear me because i know you can't see me ma ha 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 uh, oh chat we can chat too let's put the chat up what should we type here welcome welcome new mexico let's see if that works enter Okay. There we go. Welcome, New Mexico, and uh, everyone else in North America and beyond. The whole world. Welcome, world. I better type that. Welcome, world. Welcome, world. My typing skills. Um, oh, what about like neighboring planets? Okay. Welcome, Mars. Welcome, Venus. Oh, I'm probably going to get roasted for not putting Venus first there. Venus first. Children and Venus is first. Mars, you go down with the ship. Sorry. Mars, you sink. Oh, what about the rest of the solar system? What about people on Io or Europa? Okay. Um, welcome solar system. Welcome solar system. Okay. There we go. Oh, what about like beyond our solar system? What about the milk? What about the, the galaxy, the spiral galaxy that we're in the Milky Way? Welcome, Milky Way. This is reminding me of how small we all really are. We're all just really, really, really tiny, really. We're like smaller than grains of sand. You start thinking this way. Welcome, Milky Way. Yeah. We're, we're just a speck we're on we're on a we're a far out speck too we're not even near the center of the galaxy i like that word galaxy i can see why they patented it and named a bunch of phones after it because it's a good word galaxy i really like that well i don't i don't know this is zephyr's show and she's not here so um <laughs> uh i'll just i'll start the show welcome to the show everybody uh i'm the cosmic threader and um I'm coming to you live from a parking lot. Uh, well, this is live to tape. We're not broadcasting live, but we are we are recording it live. I, I, I don't like to edit. So if I post this video, there'll be no editing whatsoever. I'm the Ed Wood of the internet. Uh, I don't believe in editing. Well, it, no, it's not that I don't believe in editing. I just, um, I don't do it myself. I don't do it. I should plug my show. I have a show called Gong Show Tarot, and that's live to tape on YouTube. Um, latest interview is by uh, Mitzi Cunningham, Mitzi Daphne Cunningham. A great interview, really great interview. Uh, Mitzi is a stand up comedian and a coach. If uh, you search the hashtag, hashtag get schooled, you can find Mitzi Cunningham on YouTube and around the web and probably in real life too. If you're ever in Georgia, down near Atlanta, uh, he performs, he's been known to perform stand up at a place called uh, Grandpappy Mims or something. Granddaddy Mims, 
And it's it's actually a um, oh uh, oh here's Zephyr here. I better admit her. Here we go. Uh, there we go. Uh, no, I don't see her. Welcome New Mexico. No, I don't see her. Welcome New Mexico. Welcome. Can you hear me? Oh, there you are. I can hear you. It works. Yep, yep. Yeah, and I got headphones. Uh oh, you cut out again. Weird thing. No. Is it doing weird things? Oh, did I? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Welcome, New Mexico. Me? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. How yeah, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I know it. I'm like. I'm like half an hour late. This is not like me to do this. I don't care. Time is imaginary. Like yeah, I was oh, kind of running late too. There we go. Hello. <laughs> it is I, Hi. the Cosmic Threader. I already the did the introduction Threader. to the show. I did a five minute introduction to the show already. So you have some footage. Oh, oh yeah. What did, what did you say? Was it exciting? Uh, I said, welcome New Mexico. And then I thought bigger and I said, welcome world. And then I said, welcome Mars. And then I thought, well, if I welcome Mars, I have to say, oh. welcome Venus. Then I had to say, welcome solar system. And then of course I had to say, welcome Milky Way. And then I didn't and go much sun, further. Course, yeah. You don't want the sun to get pissed off right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm in a good mood. Uh, I had a, I had a quick yeah, meeting. Yeah. Uh, that was uh, that ran late, so I'm sorry that my other meeting ran late, but I'm here now. That's cool. Now. That's cool. Yeah. I really don't sweat late, like unless you're like, unless you don't show up at all. Then yeah, then I, that's then bad. I'm kind of that's all. bad. If no show is bad, I had that happen to me once. I was going to interview a young lady. Um, I'm still friends with her, but I'm still a little miffed. She uh, shoots uh, uh, feature films or short films. I think she mostly does short films. She's a young lady in film and television in Canada. And that's a hard business to be in. And she wanted to do an interview and we were going to meet in the park and she didn't show up. Ooh. And I won't say her name because I, I don't want to embarrass her, but she should have shown up. I mean, really, it would have been a lot better for her, right? Or at least called or yeah. something. You know? At least like, called. At least called. Yeah. Call. yeah. I mean, it's, it like sucks if somebody calls like right before, but at least then you know, like, hey, I can get out of here. I don't have to sit and wait. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I just got I a message. So I just got a message from you on my phone. It says, "Let me in." Oh, how funny! I just got that. <laughs> oh, well. I must have been from the past. Like, we're talking to the Becky of the future. Yeah, <laughs> the Zephyr of the future, whatever. <laughs> well, Zephyr actually—I don't know if you know this—but Zephyr means gentle breeze. Yeah, it's like a west wind. A west wind. Yep. Yeah, you're it's like, good. I think that fits you. I think you're like a gentle breeze from the West. I don't know about gentle, but West, yeah. <laughs> you keep saying that. But, Do you have whips there? Do you have like yeah, flogs that you're going to bring out? No, I, but I've, I'm a cat. I got, I got claws, you know, I could be claws. I do, I do actually have a thing that's like a back scratcher. It's really cool. Cool. I don't know where it is right now. It, oh, it looks no. like a claw. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Like a cat claw. Like yeah, well, it's actually like it's a garden. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we lost you. Zephyr, what happened? Where'd you go? She disappeared. Into the... Oh, she's... I'm wow. A phone call. I got like a black screen. I got the black screen of death. What's happening? Yeah. Oh, okay, you had I'll a phone call? Message. Are you yeah. okay? Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm Good. fine. I forgot to turn on my Do Not Disturb. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Yeah, maybe I should do that. I would smoke, but I ran out. You ran out? Oh, I ran no. out. Yeah, I ran out of smokes. That sucks. Oh, I'm seeing your out. upside down stop sign again. Oh, are you? Yeah, because I'm turning off my notifications real quick. Okay. Yeah, let's see. So what do you want to talk about? Um, well, I I have this idea, and I kind of oh, want to talk about it. Good. Are we live yeah. right now? I think so. Oh, we're live? I think we're just recording. Oh, no, no. We are recording. No, no, we're just recording. We're not live. Yeah, I'm not broadcasting. I'm not broadcasting, but but I intend to broadcast this without editing. You can edit if you want, but I don't edit. 
Oh yeah, I probably won't. I'm yeah. just like people will find it interesting, whatever. It's like yeah. eh. Yeah. If they don't, then they'll just yeah. like scan through it. I liked how I did it. I did you see how I did the last one? I released it on a premiere schedule and it just played it and like people that would. Join oh, I didn't it, notice. Like, it. Okay. Yeah. Because that, that so way, what, it, how is how is a how is a premiere uh, schedule different from like a regular video? Because it like plays the video at a certain time okay. and people that see it join in the middle of it sometimes. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, so, so it's it's like it's as if it, it feels like a live. So they can chat. Can they type in the chat? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, yeah. well, maybe I'll do that with this one. I've never done that. I think I did it once and yeah. and it didn't seem to get a lot of traffic, but maybe maybe it will this time. Yeah, well, so, and if you announce it ahead of time, like if you put it up and your subscribers will like go, oh, 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 you know, oh, oh. But I just oh, like uploaded yeah. it like I, I did it 30 minutes before and I got like Kimber showed up and like I think Andrea was there and a couple cool. of other people. Yeah, it's fun to chat, right? So, and then mm -hmm. that way you can chat with them. And not yeah, worry yeah, about I can totally them. Yeah. Them. yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I had known that that's how you do it, I would have done it like that a long time ago. Yeah, I didn't know. Thank you for telling me. Thank you. I'll do the prayer emoji. Thank you. You're so funny. So, yeah, what I want I don't really to try to be funny. About... I just do what I do. Yeah, well, looks aren't everything, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, zinger. A zinger. Wow. Yeah, or like I tell Scott, you don't have to try to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're very kind. You're very kind. You're very kind. Yeah. So I wanna I wanna throw something um like 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 fibble a little and uh, see what you think. Okay. I think that the 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 evil powers that be in this world, I think that they have tried to trick us. And like, they're calling it the matrix, what we're trying to get out of, you know, like this whole like imaginary reality or whatever, mm -hmm. they're, they're calling it the matrix. But that doesn't make any sense. Cause like matrix is like, like the mother, like energy, right? Mm -hmm. So I was like, I was like, it seems like a patriarchy we're trying to escape. So I was like, why don't they call it the matrix? <gasps> I was right. I made a I made a premonition that you were talking about the matrix and the patriarchy. So I was mm -hmm. right. Okay, cool. I feel so relieved. Yeah, and I, I yeah. And I think that it yeah. should really catch on because like the matrix is like where we want to be. The matrix is where you get to do what you want. Oh, you, you want to be in the matrix, like, you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah? because okay. you get to create reality yeah. that way. You're like a co-creator. Not like you're I mean the well, matrix but there's 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 right. different matrices, right? There's like the organic natural matrix, and then there's like the artificial yeah. forced matrix. So I don't want to be in that well, artificial forced one, right? You know what I mean? Well, I think that they're I think that they can co they can coexist and be. Um, well, they're going to like, they're going to coexist because it's dividing yeah. right now, right? It's happening now. So well, there's the, the higher that, path, which is yeah. sort of this uh, symbiotic uh, with nature and sort of natural organic process of evolution. And then there's this forced, um, sort of programmed, rigid, yeah. um, 3D, but 2D. It's not, really that yeah. it's not that rigid. Uh, I mean, well, there's some parts of it. It's like the internet is part of that rigid thing too, but it's not as rigid. So I think that we should take that with us. Well, <laughs> you know, it can go both ways. Like, do you know who Tim Berners-Lee is? Sounds familiar. He, he basically it. invented the internet. Well, he didn't invent it. I mean, no man did it single-handedly, but he, he had a big part in creating the internet uh, when they were first conceiving it. And he's come out within the last 10, 11 years, and he still speaks about this. He says, you know, when we built the internet, this is not what we intended. We didn't intend for it to be a oh, place yeah. where humans are, are branded and categorized and tracked. We intended it for, to mm -hmm. be a place where people could share information, uh, freedom of access, freedom of information, and fun like the internet mm -hmm. used to be really fun and it's yeah, not well, and, it, and it doesn't have to be like um it doesn't have to be big brother and it doesn't have to be a reason doesn't have to be I yeah. like, that's why i yeah. love bitcoin and crypto because it's like a chance to really um to really take over that authority again because yeah. right now it's like yeah fiat. fiat is like it's got automatic debt attached to it it's like there's no way that you could ever pay it off because every dollar has debt it's like yeah. how do you pay it off with what with more yeah. debt dollars 
dumb. Dogecoin. I really like Dogecoin. I think it's my favorite coin right now. Or I, doggy. I, I, and I don't I, know if you do you say doggy coin or Dogecoin. No, it's Doge. It is Doge. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and um, I like um Algorand, Algorand or what? It's a Ether Ethereum coin, and I like um the graph. I did. I got made quite a bit. The last jump that one made a few weeks cool. ago. But, do you use um Zephyr? Do you use the Brave browser? Um, I don't. But I somebody mentioned that earlier. I have yeah. To if you out. use the you, if you use the Brave browser, I don't know what the name of the currency is. It's got a triangle symbol and it's like red or pink or something. And you get free ones if you browse using the Brave. So just for browsing, you get issued these tokens. And uh, oh cool, yeah, you can um, use do, you them collect, right, you know. do you collect Pi on your on your phone? I don't. Should I be collecting Pi? Oh, I like I'll the sound of that. Go. I love Pi. I'll tell I'll you. Yeah, uh, it was pi, like pi, you know, like oh. 3.14. And yeah, if you get that's not the right kind now, of pi I want. It. Come on, I'm a hot blooded, <laughs> I'm a hot blooded Canadian male. That's not the kind of pi I'm after. It can have mini entendres. It's just like you know, I'm also staking cake right now, which is another kind of thing. It's like, but it's like I'm I'm staking, I'm like investing in it, and I get like a, an APR. It's like it pays out like every two weeks or something. And it's like basically like more guaranteed. So it's like a like a passive income, but it's a small amount because I haven't invested that much money cool. yet. Yeah. I have some I have some Bitcoin that I got from faucets. Do you know what a faucet is? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can send you they a link to one actually. That's, I can Do send they? you a link. They still have those? They still exist and they they're changing though. Wow. They've had to adapt, right? Um they still exist hmm. and some of them are very good. There's one that's like, I can cool. send you a, a referral code to that's like a bank where they pay you interest. It's pretty cool. So if you have enough Bitcoin, very cool. you have, you can deposit. I think it's like, I think you need 10,000 Satoshi or 100,000 Satoshi. And, and then once you have that much in there, you can accumulate daily interest. Yeah, and, and I've got, I'm trying to get into stupid uh, like foundation, but they're like Twitter verification, like making me really mad yesterday. I was like- Oh yeah? Oh. Yeah, howdy face. Because I, because they have to. Well, they started this new thing where you can. They basically like the people that are creators can upvote people, okay. and once you get five okay. upvotes from other creators, then you can create there. But they used to have it where like the creators got a certain amount of um of invites to give, and then the people that were the curators of the site would probably, you know, go out and pick people too. But uh, it's really kind of hard to get in on, and I'm. I don't know. I've got my thing up on OpenSea, and then I'm working on um, my uh, ghost. It's ghost something. Um, I don't remember what it's oh, called now. That. How funny! <laughs> I just uh, I just set up my Patreon page the other day, so. Um, I started so, mine uh, too. I started setting up mine, but. Oh. Good, cool. I should follow you. What's what are you? Are you Zephyr on on Patreon? I'm gonna be Zephyr one three six nine on everything. Okay. But what kind of content are you gonna make, like for? Uh well. Level? I got a video today actually of over policing by store security that I might post as a Patreon uh, like little hidden video. So if people hmm. subscribe for five bucks a month, then they can have access cool. to these these uh, these videos. Cause I don't, it's kind of negative, right? Some of this stuff. So I don't, you know, unless people really want to watch it, I don't want to put it out there, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. It's like, um, if I was gonna like, um, yeah, I could totally see that. If I was going to talk politics or something, I would definitely have it on like a Patreon. It would be like you have to pay to 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 hear me rant about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you want negativity, you're going to have to pay for it with your fiat currency yeah. or your or your cryptocurrency. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to have yeah. to definitely yeah. give me some cash because mm -hmm. I don't like it. <laughs> Show me the money. So what do you think? You think that the that the powers that be are kind of like like don't you think the Patrix is like a better friggin' name for it? The Patrix? I don't think yeah. that they I don't think that they are energetically prepared for what's coming for them. That's what I I said that to oh, uh, no, they're uh, not. They have no they're idea. Not. They have no idea what's coming. <laughs> well, no, some of them are like friggin' scared out of their friggin' I mean they're panicking. They're panicking. Some of them are panicking. The ones are that they? like those those hedge fund invest investors that were shorting GameStop, those guys were panicking. They're still panicking. They're freaking out. They're still PTSD. And then the other ones are like friggin' just obliviously confident. 
that no, no, this, you know, the little guys are never gonna, never, 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 never. They can't organize. <laughs> they don't know less very well. Well, and the new organization is actually less organization. So somebody that's so trapped well, in this current system. Yeah. So if you haven't yeah. sort of adapted your mindset to decentralize sort of, um, you know, I think I said well, to somebody in chat that I think the future is actually the way I'm living, which is sort of like nomadically. I think more people are going to be yeah, living yeah. that way. And cooperatively like as well. Small group. Yeah, like little, little groups. Yeah. It's like, yeah. mm -hmm. I mean, that's kind of how like my little neighborhood here. It's like we have more than enough vegetables whenever our garden is going and we just give vegetables to our neighbors. Yeah. Because otherwise they would just like get put back in the compost, you know. I love gardening. I, I love gardening. Money. What's your favorite? What's your favorite vegetable to grow that you grow there in uh, New Mexico? I like zucchinis. Zucchinis are pretty good, and good, um, yeah. tomatoes are good, and peppers, of course. Um, I did potatoes last year, radishes, carrots. Um, we do herbs like uh, oregano, mint, uh, dill. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Um, basil. Um, I we have a blackberry bush and a golden raspberry bush, and we have golden a golden raspberry. Hmm. Yeah. Are they yeah. are they sweet and, uh, golden golden raspberries? Are they sweet or are they sour? Yeah, they're really they're really sweet. good. They're mm. too good, so good. And oh, we good. we didn't. This is going to be our third year. The first year they didn't have any berries, and then last year they had a lot of berries. And this year yeah. they're they're like they took over the whole middle bed. So Scott had to build a whole nother um, yeah, yeah, garden yeah. box. Right on. We have the raised boxes because yeah. we just have sand here. So it's like he has to like he lines it so um it basically like nothing that comes from the ground like grubs or anything can get into it and um that's like you know like cicadas we're gonna have the big cicada like swarm this year <laughs> and like a, a cicada a, swarm. you say cicada is that like a giant um insect yeah it's like a grasshopper sort of but they're really noisy they like go you know <laughs> okay do they bite are they dangerous at all no 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 they no. just fly around and they they breed and then they lay their eggs and then the grubs fall, the eggs hatch and they fall to the ground and they go and they hibernate in the ground. And they're like periodical cicadas. These, the one that's coming this year is the first time that these ones have come in like 17 years. There's one, there's one insect I'm hoping to see that I've never seen. Um, when I travel south, I'm hoping to see a firefly. I've never seen one. Oh, yeah, they're so one? cool. Go to Kansas. Kansas? They have them all over the place. Okay. Yeah, in Kansas, okay. they have so many. But you know what? If you I'll go to Kansas, make notes. sure you tuck, you have to tuck your socks into your pants or your pants into what? your socks. Because it's, I have to pee my pants. No, you have to take your socks and put them up over your pants whenever you're walking okay. through grass because okay. there's these little things that are called chiggers and they will bite you. They crawl up your pants and they bite, the, they bite you. So really I'm just going to demonstrate. So you put your... I'm wearing my Zelda yeah, pants. So you put yeah, your socks. So you like take your socks and like and you put your pants like all the way down and then pull your right. socks up over the edge of your pants. That's as high as the sock goes. Yeah. You, like you that? just gotta make sure that nothing like that? yeah, basically, yeah. Or just get get something that you could like like get some you know, ties or something. Just tie it to where they can't get in your legs. I really like these you boots. And they you like these boots? Those are pretty cool, yeah. They're pretty sweet, yeah. That's, oh, awesome. that's a hard uh yeah they are kind of fancy and the cool thing is they were given to me i did not yeah. uh, have to pay for them i have my winter boots see they're like they have like a zipper i just step into them cool these but ones are hard to get in and out of because the laces so it's a process to oh, get yeah. in and out of these yeah i had a pair of like low-rise doc martin but i got them really muddy and i left them out on a barrel outside the house and a German Shepherd stole one of them. I saw them on the security <laughs> camera. They're like $60 pairs of shoes. That's going like, to happen so if you leave them out. Yeah, the German Shepherds will come along. But it was in my yard and on a barrel. It was like, what the hell? That dog stole my driftwood out of my fountain, too. I was like, not very happy. Yeah. The neighbors just kind of let their dogs run around. My cat's you have, around, um, so are your neighbors, are they in your demographic, uh, you and Scott, or are they? Are they younger? Are no, they older? They're, they're, all, they're, they're all Hispanic and a lot of them are older. Uh, some of them are younger. They're like extended families. A lot of them are like older people with younger mm. like children or grandchildren living with them. So, but 
um, we got a few people that come and visit us in the neighborhood. Our next door neighbor, Benzo, he does like, um, he's like a rapper and he does tattoos. Oh, cool. And he, yeah, he's cool. Yeah. Does he do tattoos he's right cool. out of his home there or does he have a shop somewhere? No, he does it. He does it. Well, he goes around and wherever, he, I mean, he has a portable setup and he's oh. really good. Like he, he touched up my, uh, my tramp stamp camp tattoo on my back. <laughs> do you want to show us? Can and, we see? Uh, no, not right now. <laughs> I don't want to pull that. No, no, no. I don't even know if it's moisturized right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, ashy yeah. Tattoo. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I have a picture yeah. of it. I'll put a picture of it up as the like picture for the for the YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got to and the picture thanks for of it. thanks for uh, giving this video a thumbs up. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for commenting. And thanks for sharing. Yep. And if we got links on our, on our Instagram, what's your Instagram? Cosmic underscore threader at cosmic underscore threader. And I'm at Zephyr, Z E P H Y R, one, three, six, nine. If you can't remember, feel free four to follow letters, us. You can follow us, uh, but don't send me a DM. Do not send me a DM. As good as an idea as it seems like, there. don't do it. Yeah. I don't care if they DM me. You can DM me, Zephyr. You can you can send me a DM yeah. because I know you, but I, I, I get you, I do I DM you all the time. I get so I many from I get some from these spammers and I don't even know how they find me. It's like crazy. Yeah, I just block them. I mean I you think, just block um, them? I don't block them, but I, I delete them. I don't respond to them at all. Like I don't block them, but Yeah. I mean I block them if they are persistent and they keep sending me messages and it gets annoying, but yeah. usually they just yeah. send me one. Yeah. Have you had any of those people try and sell you drugs on Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> uh, not directly, but there was one guy where every single picture on his grid was like pills or like, like uh, hash. Yeah. Like, yeah, I think his grid plan was like pills, hash, pills, hash, pills, hash. Right. And, you know, I like those you know. profiles. I always go like window <laughs> shopping, you know, I'm like. Send them to me. I, I enjoy I those too. That. Send them to me. Send me the link. Yeah. Not oh, yeah, too many. I'll definitely, but... I definitely will. Yeah. It's funny because I think I get this one guy that like he keeps deleting his account, but he adds me back whenever he makes another one. It's like he's being all covert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's an interesting place. Are you on Facebook as well? I recently rejoined Facebook. I'm sad to admit. I don't really do Facebook. I am yeah. on Messenger. I mean, I have a Facebook, but I don't yeah. ever go there. Oh, do you? Really. I mean, oh, I sometimes you? like yeah, for like five minutes maybe, and it's the same one. It's the same name. It's Zephyr One Three Six Nine. Oh, okay. I'm gonna add you and, right uh, now. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah, and I'll add you if I mean if I when it, if and when I get over there. I had like this weird thing happen last year where like all of a sudden I started getting like over a hundred friend requests a day. Oh wow! I don't know what happened. Oh, wow. It was wow. weird, and so yeah. I had to like. I was like just accepting them all because I didn't know any of them and I didn't want to miss anybody, you know, because like yeah. fear of missing out or whatever. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> do, you need like, a, my, uh, do you need a booking agent at all? Number. Do you need a booking I don't agent? I think so. Okay, so for what? your tarot? What about booking? Um, maybe. I, I'm uh, managing a, a, I'm managing an account for um, uh, an agent called uh, Chuckle Valley Consultants or Consulting. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, that's, I'm, I I'm, that, yeah. I'm managing their account. So if you need a, a, a talent um, booker, uh, just add them and then send oh, a yeah. DM. I would totally give like probably 10% of like whatever, I, but I don't charge that much. They you might know, ask for like, 15. Honestly, they probably ask for 15, but yeah. 15 would probably be all right, but that'd be like, that'd be like, because I charge like $40 an hour for an hour reading. Yeah. Well, just charge more, right? Just charge a little bit more, charge like 45, 50, and then, yeah, you know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have it. I don't have it written down anywhere. People just DM me and they ask me. I, okay. I had a scheduling yeah. link up and I was yeah. like, it just wasn't really working out with the scheduling link because I don't ever check my email. It was just easier for people <laughs> to just DM me. Good thing I didn't email you the, the code, right? I yeah, probably. Well, I checked it. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I told you not to. I was like, text. I was like, send it to the Instagram, DM it, because like I don't get notifications. So it's the best way to email. get a hold of people nowadays, or or text message, right? Yeah. Yeah, text messaging is fine, and you and like you can call me on my local number. Yeah, how do you set that up? <laughs> I want to get one of those for the for the opposite way. You basically have to. You can sign up, and whenever you're signing up, you have your location settings off, and then um. 
you choose the area code that you want to have it from. That's wicked. And it, does it cost? What does it cost? No, nothing. No, nothing. They just make you watch ads sometimes, you know? Oh, cool. so, oh, okay, okay. So there is a catch. Yeah, yep. you have ads, but it's ads. not like really that bad. It's like basically if somebody calls you, it'll ring and then you answer it and there'll be like a little ad at the bottom of the screen that doesn't make any noise or anything. Oh, so, yeah. And then like whenever you close the, the call, it'll ask you how the call quality was and you just hit the button and then it'll go into like a, like an ad that you can skip in 15 seconds. It's like yeah. It's not even cool. as bad as YouTube. Yeah. Because they only do one with, ad at a time, not two. Are you happy with YouTube or are you, are you thinking of going over to somewhere uh, like Mines? I like YouTube and YouTube is really where everybody is actually. I mean, there's like a yeah. few, but I mean, few people have tried to migrate but it's like youtube is just really like everybody uses youtube it's like there's an app i can watch it on my tv yeah like, they you beg know, you to come other, back other platforms you can't. yeah they do and yep. um i yep. i subscribe to a couple of channels they're like a paid subscription like and i like that you can like rent movies i rented that um um uh an evening with beverly uh Luff, Luff it's got uh, Aunt, um, Aubrey Plaza, who is my favorite actress. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love her. She's funny. My favorite actress right now is Aubrey Plaza. Me too. Yeah. That's what I just said. Yeah. That's hilarious. Are you serious? Are you kidding? No, I'm really not her? kidding, actually. Uh, I think for a couple of reasons. I think she's dead sexy. Um, oh yeah, totally. she's hilarious. I mean, I she's 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 so funny. She's so oh, quick. Um, and the third reason is she's from Delaware. Yeah, and I love the deadpan man. I just she's just so like I I can't I don't I mean I'm not like good at that at all. Yeah. I mean like I can like <laughs> yeah me neither. Unless it's sarcasm, I can do sarcasm because I have this like automatic thing. Whenever people are sarcastic with me, I just like take them seriously because like. I, it annoys the hell out of them, and I just managed to like put that into my programming or whatever. <laughs> so I, I just do that on purpose. Like people think I'm dumb sometimes, <laughs> but no, That's I'm just awful. Like, I'm, I actually, I'm I actually dumb. am dumb. It's not that people think I'm dumb. I, I actually oh, am. Whatever. Dumb. Yeah, whatever. Stop that. No self-deprecation unless it's funny. No, I'm trolling. I'm trolling myself today. I don't know if you saw the post, but I'm doing um, shadow work. I'm doing uh, self trolling or uh, troll yourself, troll yourself. Troll uh, yourself day. Troll yourself day. Yeah, it's kind of fun. And then you tag you tag people in there, and then they can jump on and they can start roasting you. It's like self roasting, basically. Yeah, you know, I guess I do that a little bit. I tell people whenever I first meet them, I'm like, I am very annoying, and you can tell me to <laughs> shut up if you want. Um, I, I like don't shut up. I will interrupt you a lot, and you can like tell me to shut up. I will not be offended. I may or may not listen to you. <laughs> I do it too. I'm so sorry. I I'm terrible, but it's part I'm of. Not. I'm not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, not sorry. But it's part of like you're very clairvoyant. I'm very intuitive. I think it's part of that is we finish people's sentences because we already know what they're thinking. Yeah, well, it takes them so long to spit it out. It's like Jesus Christ. It's like I can hear your thoughts. <laughs> just say it. Yeah, just say it. Yeah, maybe that's why we work yeah, together so well. I think so. I think yeah. so. And I was talking yeah. to, I have a friend that I, I just like had a reading with last night. Her name was Lorna and she's in, in uh, Southern California. Okay. And she's kind of like that too. And we were talking about it and I was like, well, I can talk and listen at the same time, but a lot of people, they cannot handle that. You know, like, especially like if they're listening to your conversation and you're both like, blah, 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 blah. I can listen and talk at the same time. I, and, and if I'm with somebody that can do that, like, we're just like, blah, 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 and nobody <laughs> understands what we're saying, but we have a, like, really, like, rapper, you know? Yeah. Really and Lorna, what does Lorna do? Yeah, does she have a, does she have a YouTube channel or? She's retired, I think. And she, mm -hmm. she's, um, I think I'm going to help her, like, with some, um, like, learning how to do some manifestation. And she's doing her Dean Keys now. I gave her all the info to mm. be able to do that. Yeah, those that. are awesome. I, and, I thank uh, you for that. You sent me one. Thank you. Yeah. 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 She's got yeah. um. She's got all something. She's got no open centers. You know how mm. uh, like in it basically human design is the precursor to gene keys. And um, so I I did like uh, I just she gave me her information and I basically like 
went over to human design to the Jovian archive or whatever it's called. And I did a regular profile because I wanted to see what her incarnation cross was mm -hmm. because I'm looking for somebody that is the middle of my friend Andrea and I are like the right and left hand and there's like a middle person that is the driver in our incarnation cross that would like make us a complete set of three wow but it's not she's not she's actually um the same incarnation cross as my boyfriend Scott, so Ooh, that's interesting but she, yeah it's, it's pretty interesting because there's um, a lot of codes right like there's are there hundreds of them or well no there's like a total of 64 64 okay yeah and they and they don't come in order they don't come in order they come in like different numbers and some of yeah. them like are programming partners with each other so they um like if you are if you have a programming partner that is uh, like one of your nodes that's a programming partner of another one sometimes they're like really challenged but you can like you don't have to worry about like interacting with other people to like integrate that shadow and get that city which is like s i d d uh, hi or whatever it's like a, a blessing the gift of it basically hmm. Hmm. yeah i and, I, uh, I don't understand a lot of this is going over my head because i i haven't done the reading yet and i'm sorry i i didn't do my homework um yeah well, guilty is charged. I, did it in like, I did the like first four things in like three days and um i just basically like i was crying and i was like oh. and it was amazing because it was like i realized like what i'm here to do i i finally was like yes this is all making sense now i know that i have some validation that that what i was feeling was correct and now i could just jump in so so you were I'm like, here to guide yeah. i'm here to guide people yeah i think so yeah i'm here to uh i'm here to activate people and sort of um, and I'm here to break the system you know yeah that too yeah <laughs> but well i'm yeah i'm getting better system. i'm getting better at, at kind of you know skirting around that as much as i can well yeah that's the best way is to ignore it as much as you can and to support the people that are being downtrodden that's exactly that's exactly it so if if they start being aggressive with you they they're they're threatening you with a baton or something your best bet is just to to back away walk away if they'd have no reasonable yeah. grounds to arrest you or detain you then, they do, then they're, they're in trouble right yeah. you know under the charter yeah, we have charter totally rights are. up here you have you have the amendment rights down there yeah well unless of course they happen to like kill you huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah well yeah there is that and and the the cops we've heard i'm up in canada i've heard that the cops down in the states are a little bit gun happy a little trigger happy yeah we had um a few years back we had um a guy that was camping up by the sandia mountain up in the hill basically and um he was homeless and he was not he was not mentally stable or whatever and they they shot him they, it was like it was ridiculous and just it for was no like reason. really brutal it, it was just, all caught on camera the guy that wow. shot him was like not even supposed to be there he had his own weapon that's awful like, and that's and awful. then they uncovered this audio that came out be that that was recorded before the incident oh. that said like are you going to use the non-lethals and they're like no i haven't even been trained on those you know yeah. it's just like what uh. And they did well, that's why I was I was late order. for my I was late for my meeting to with you today because I was meeting with uh, an investigator who's actually investigating the police in this town, and um, there's been a lot of and complaints. Where is that? In uh, we're up in northern Canada. It's it's like this the biggest town in in northern Canada, and that's why I'm like bundled up because it's it's bloody freezing, freezing up here. Cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah it's, still it cold. Almost, it's supposed yeah. to snow here tonight, but yeah. I don't know if it's in, going to. Really, even it's down really there. Cold. You're still getting snow. Is that normal for this time of year to get snow? Yeah, yeah. We until the yeah. end of April. The, the end of April is really the last time that we get snow. I think okay. like around Scott's birthday is on the set on the 18th, and uh, I always say the 17th because I don't want to be late. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah. So um, usually, I it snowed a few times on his birthday, so but not much after. And did you get him a present yet or can you tell us i guess you better um, not i actually not. i actually did um i ordered him some shirts and i got him like this thing to hold his phone that's in the cup holder of the thing and then i uh got us like a like a 
an Airbnb in Placidas, a really nice place, like where they have like wild horses outside. And there's like a fountain and a big bathtub and it's really, really nice. Um, that sounds like fancy. So nice. he likes, he yeah, likes like Zen stuff, like, like fountains and, and, uh, and, um, yeah, it's, it's just like a little bit, something like relaxed because like our house is kind of chaotic and, uh, yeah, it's like all organized and pretty and everything over there. It'll be nice to hang out for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. It sounds lovely. It sounds really lovely. It's a guest it's house, really basically. Lovely. We're renting a guest house. You have a guest house? But you're renting it. Yeah, we rented it. it. We're renting yeah, we're renting it for a weekend, basically. Okay. What does it cost? What does it cost to rent it? Are you willing to say? Or um, probably DM me, right? It was right? sixty dollars. It was like sixty dollars a night. Okay. Yeah, it was not bad. Well, plus fees. There's like extra fees or whatever, but it was like not really that bad. Can I book it? Do you have openings at the end of April? Towards the end of April. Um, where? Where? At, at your place? guest house. Oh, it's not my guest house. I'm oh. just renting it. Oh, you're renting it. Oh, you're renting it. Oh, for, for, his, for his birthday. Oh, yeah. I see. So I get it. Like, oh, that's the one that you said with all the pretty flowers, all the the yellow flowers. Yeah. Okay, now I remember. Sorry for that memory loss. Yeah, it's really, it's really pretty cool. I I'm really excited because I haven't. I like we have a standing shower here only. We don't have a bathtub, and I really want to take a bath. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you don't have a bath? Yeah, that that would be nice. Yeah. To, if you haven't had one, so in I sometimes one. sometimes I haul the big Rubbermaid in, like it's like a big <laughs> one of those like big like like you stick in the back of your truck, you know, kind of things. So it's like got the lid and everything, but uh, I had compost in it, so I don't really want to oh. like go to all the effort I would have to do to clean it. Yeah, and uh, I could get a smaller one and get in it, but it's like you can't put that much water in it because like you displace it. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. And then so you've like, done that. You've done that as sort of a a a a, a um a uh, substitute bath mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. is it satisfying at all yeah. should i try it yeah it is oh well, it's okay it's like you're soaking in water which is nice but it's just like yeah. then you have to yeah. like dump it you can't drain it because it doesn't oh. have a drain hole it's like yeah i thought about getting an ice chest or something so i could drain it but <laughs> yeah oh first world problems <laughs> first world problems oh, yeah, I, know. oh I know it's I know. so we hard running right? water only a shower yeah. <laughs> Horrible, horrible. Oh, how dare they put a shower in here? I demand a, yeah, a bathtub, a proper bathtub. We have to go to the laundromat or go to our friend's houses to wash laundry because we don't have a washer and dryer either here. Oh, oh, why not? You don't have the hookups for it or you just... Uh, no, there no. are hookups, but uh, the landlord doesn't want it because he's afraid of flooding or something and I don't get it. It's just like, whatever. Mm. Okay. Mm. Well, it's his place, I guess, right? It, it, yeah, it is, I guess. Mm. Are there any coin laundries in the area that, that you're willing to use? Or? Oh yeah, there's one like there's one like a mile away. It's a great one. It's like they okay. have the big machines and everything. You can walk it or do you drive? You probably drive. I, I could drive. I could actually walk, uh, yeah. but I have my like uh my little bike and I can basically like tow a little trailer behind it with like laundry on oh, it. Oh a rickshaw. You have a rickshaw? Sort of, yeah. That's awesome. I've always wanted a rickshaw. It's like a wagon. Yeah, oh, it's, it's a wagon. It's like only like a mile. It's a mile. I could tow it behind my Vespa, basically. It's oh, like cool. I have a little Vespa scooter thing, so. Oh, that's awesome. So you just get on your Vespa, and then you have your wagon, and you fill it full of laundry. Yeah, that's, what, that's what Scott got me for my birthday last year, but I haven't ridden it yet because I haven't gotten a license because um, right after uh, I got it, I should have just got a, a made an appointment right away, but I kind of delayed it. And um, then I made the appointment for uh, March, and then everything was shut down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I was planning stuff pre-COVID too, and not it didn't happen. But I was actually go. I was taking classes online to be an insurance salesman. Can you believe that? Via instant notes. <laughs> I don't know what what are those classes yeah. like. I don't know much about that. It's like it's all like computer computer module based learning, and you have to get like a certain score to pass to the next area and I did really good on it but then uh I couldn't go and take the final exam because oh. I had to get an ID which mm. you know that was complicated <laughs> At, and then they didn't have the testing centers open and then oh. I was just like I was like I don't really want to do this anyways <laughs> yeah yeah have you heard of, like, of, of gonna... um, have you heard of Udemy have you heard of this site Udemy.com or Udemy it's a classes site, so you can go and take classes. My friend Elena uh, Fox, she's teaching a class on um, anxiety, so I think I'm probably going to take it. 
Um, and yeah, I, it's going to be up on Udemy soon. Skillshare. Yeah, so watch for that. Yeah. Skillshare is pretty cool too. Skillshare? Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can teach anything yeah. you want? Like anything? Well, you can learn anything that you want. And I think, I don't know what the process is for being a teacher, but I'm sure that yeah. you can. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel about how do you feel about masterclass this this thing called masterclass where they have all these like a-list actors that are on there going yes i i will teach you classical acting for five hundred dollars if you wire five hundred dollars immediately then you can learn from me a classically trained I actor i think it's kind of cool because you get to have like first person interactions with people that are yeah. sort of famous, if famous. That's what you're very into. famous in some cases yeah yeah so if yeah you're like like uh and, like steven soderbergh i think had a master class and and uh, right now it's like a lot uh, of actors are not you know they're not working so and, a lot of actors are not working that's true you're not wrong yeah. there zephyr voxel <laughs> a lot of actors are unemployed yeah, right. but they were before covid there were a lot of unemployed now everybody's a podcast now you know everybody's like, a podcaster okay. everybody's a podcaster oh. literally everybody oh have you heard my podcast yet yeah, um, well, I've got I my uh, emergency first aid uh, but... kit here today. Cool. Yeah, I'm learning. Uh, uh, so, okay, wounds and bleeding. So, what you want to do is you want to apply direct pressure. Okay. Yeah, pressure. You stop blood flow, elevation to reduce blood flow, yeah. rest, and then a tourniquet to slow the circulation. Okay, so that's what you, you want to do. Tourniquet do. too. Yeah, is it? One time, Scott, one time Scott was um uh he was tying up a fence that kept wobble like it was falling over and he so he was taking a rope and like uh attaching it and tying it to this other like post to secure it up and uh he put his brand new knife that he was using to cut the rope on top of the inside of the it was like a wooden fence you know with the framing and he put it up on the top and he was like he was like you know tying the rope and it he yanked it and it like the knife fell and it was like it was really sharp he just got it it was, it was like brand new and it fell and it hit him in his calf in his leg oh and uh i bet that yeah, hurt he had to like shimmy oh yeah he had to shimmy yeah. through this little hole in the fence and then he like he like managed to actually like tourniquet his leg off and like he called me and he had like a tarp in the truck and I met him at the emergency room where he was wow. like, he pulled him to where the ambulances go. Wow. And I re I took his car and while he was like, yeah, into the yeah, yeah. Emergency that's room. crazy. It was like, it was his, yeah. He, I, I was like, yeah. if you start to get dizzy, you freaking pull the, pull the hell over and we will, yeah. we will yeah. you know, if you're not, if we yeah, don't see you sure. in the driveway of the freaking hospital in the emergency driveway, then we're going to keep driving yeah. and we're going to come and get you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I was like, I had to drop work. It was crazy. <laughs> Really I've never good, hurt though. myself like, badly. Hey, I've I've cut myself, but just like little paper cuts, or or um, I don't know. I I nearly cut this thumb in half, but other than that, I've I've never injured myself. I've never had a broken bone. I have like I've never had a broken bone either, but I do have a fracture. Like if you can see the bump here. Oh yeah. Like uh. Can you do weird things now? Like can you like make it bend funny? No. No. It actually okay. didn't. Uh, it didn't mess with my. Uh oh. Uh oh. She's getting another phone call, folks. Her screen is frozen for me. Maybe my screen's frozen for her. Uh, let's see if my connection is still. I'm just checking my connection. Uh, no, I'm still connected. Um, um, Zephyr, metal, Zephyr, metal. you froze. Yeah. You froze, oh, froze for about uh, 30 seconds. You were frozen. That's weird. I wonder why. Yeah. Oh, so like I've got scars like here, and there's like one here too. I basically um, a bridge fell and le it was like a leaned up against a big one of those big dumpsters. I was hey. moving this jack because we oh, were like putting this fountain. There's a fountain door fountain. Yeah. And uh, I'm just waiting. I, I'm out here waiting for a rehearsal. We're doing a re we're doing an actual taping tonight. We're filming uh, some pyrotechnics here at St. Michael's and All Angels. You should follow them on YouTube. Cool. St. Michael's and All Angels. Give them cool. a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to their channel and write a comment down below like say something like god bless you or something nice like that yeah i'm being good because the minister be is right here i don't know if you can hear her she's laughing oh, at yeah, me now. That's yeah. Fine. yeah anyway you have a lady minister that's very a progressive. lady minister i'm a, a member of the anglican church of canada and they're very progressive they allow ladies cool. to be ministers so if there's any ladies out there that feel a calling that don't think they can be a minister at the anglican church you can be a minister 
Uh-oh. You know, it was really funny. Whenever I had my epiphany, I almost wanted to be a nun. I was like overcorrecting. <laughs> you were going to be a nun, like a Catholic nun? I thought about it. Wow. I just, like, I thought wow. About it. wow. That surprises me. Yeah. That but really it was overcorrecting. Because I was like, I was having like visions. Like, I was like, like if, uh, if I would have stayed in the state where everything was speaking to me constantly, I don't know what I would have been able to do otherwise. <laughs> Luckily, it shut itself off. I know yeah. how to turn it back on now. That's but very cool. It's voluntary. It's not like. Yeah. That was during my Saturn return. Huh. And do you think yeah. it was mostly, was it mostly Zephyr? Was it about the wardrobe? Did you just want to wear like the, the habit and the black uh, robes or? No. What, what was it about it for you? It was just that like I knew I couldn't, I couldn't function like a normal person. And I was either going to go wandering the face of the earth or I was going to, uh, oh, there's somebody's knocking on the door but I'm gonna ignore them but uh yeah it was either I was gonna wander the face of the earth like you know with the you know with the people or I was gonna like have a nice warm cozy uh convent or something <laughs> I didn't know what I was gonna how I was gonna be able to function otherwise yeah well it would be difficult right I mean you either have to uh not have sex or lie and say that you're not gonna have sex but have sex anyways right Either way is bad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Right. So um, at least it didn't at least my phone didn't blink this time because my internet just shut off temporarily. Yeah, it did. I there's a section there. Off. You might want to edit a little bit because the, there's a section where you're totally frozen, but uh, I try to rescue it and oh, I keep talking. Cool. So I'm just looking yeah, up we're back um, now. Oh, I'm looking up a quote. Let's uh, I here's a game. Here's a new game. Uh, I'll say the quote, and then you try to guess who said it. Oh, geez. I'm bad at this. I am bad with names. I think you're going to get it. I have a strong feeling you're going to get it. Okay? Think, um, ready? Are you ready? You ready for this? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, as ready as I'm going to be. Okay. So this is the quote. It's a short one. Um, oh, I just okay. closed it. Okay. Here it is. Um, should I do it? I will, I'll just do it in my voice. Uh, I'm not afraid... I was I was born to do this. Who said that? I'm not afraid. I was born to do this. Is it Hunter S. Thompson? No. Mm. Picture me holding a sword. I'm not afraid. I was born to do this. Oh, we lost Zephyr completely. <laughs> the quote. Oh, we're just going to have to. Uh, you're going to have to wait until next time to find out who said that. I'm not afraid I was born to do this. This is the Cosmic Threader signing off. Uh, it is 53 minutes in to the recording and Zephyr has gone away like a, a, a warm Pacific breeze. She's blown away. Um, sorry, Zephyr, I don't know what happened there. Uh, uh, I think I'm still connected, still recording. Um, we're not broadcasting live, but yeah, I mean, it. I think it's good. All right. Uh, cut. Print. It's going to be great. Don't screw up. All right. Uh,